I earned 1 million 401,004 pesos. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, I am Yayang Veloso, a Filipino registered nurse working and living in New Zealand. Hi guys, hi netizens, welcome to another vlog. For this vlog, I am going to share with you my salary during my first year here in New Zealand and my total net pay after my first year. But before that, let me share with you very quickly how I got here. So I went through certain processes and just a note, these processes have changed significantly in the last four years. So for correct information, I recommend you visit Nursing Council of New Zealand for you to get an updated information on how to become a registered nurse here in New Zealand. And you might want to check out Immigration New Zealand as well. I am going to put the links in the description box below. Alright guys, I have here the timeline of the dates. <laughs> timeline of the dates now the timeline of the application process so I started in 2018 that's when I took the OET because my cousin advised me to take the OET first so it's an English exam many of you might be familiar with IELTS so it's basically similar but the OET is profession specific so there are four sub tests same with IELTS writing reading listening and speaking so I passed three sub tests on my first take I failed writing and then two months after I, I retook. So I failed again and then I said, okay, I'm gonna take a rest because I was feeling very low that time. Why I why can't I make or why can't I pass this bloody exam, bloody subtest? So then I, I rested for a couple of months and then come January 2019, I did a retake that was first week of January and then two weeks after the result came out early in the morning. My sister sent me a chat. She was already in New Zealand that time. And so when I checked it, my score was 350, which is passing grade. Pasang awa. So I was very happy. And that was the gateway for me to proceed with application to become a registered nurse here in New Zealand. So fast forward, I started my application March 2023 and I got my tourist visa in October 2023. So that's... March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. So around eight months before I got my tourist visa. And why tourist visa? It's because my study was just only for two months, all right? Now with a tourist visa, you can actually study not more than three months, okay? So my tourist visa was for three months and my study was for two months, okay? Now, I left the Philippines on January 12, 2020. And I was so lucky because that was the time when Taal Volcano erupted. And there were heaps of flights that got canceled and rescheduled, including my friend's flight, which was so unfortunate, but she's already here in New Zealand. Now, fast forward, guys. I started my study on January 20, 2020, and I finished on March 6, 2020, 2020. I got my first job and started on April 8, 2020, okay? All right, guys, I've got my favorite whiteboard here and I've written my salaries from April 8, 2020 until April 2021, 2021. Slang, feeling, slang. 2021 all right guys but before we continue guys i have a similar video uploaded on november 15 2023 which has a title expected salary of a caregiver in new zealand you might want to check it out guys i'll put the link here 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 <laughs> here <laughs> please check it out all right guys but i'm not gonna i'm not going to go over each month okay now so, so what I've mentioned, I started working April 8th of 2020 and my salary that time, my starting salary was 29.54 New Zealand dollars, 40 hours a week. And salary here is every other Wednesday or say every 14 days that falls on a Wednesday. I hope I didn't confuse you. But anyway, guys, this is the board. You can stop the video so you can check every amount every month but you notice that september i put like a green box so with march 
So what happened with September? There are three pay dates. That's why you notice it's 6,169 New Zealand dollars as compared to the other months. Same with March, it's 6,398 dollars and seven cents because there were three pay dates during these months. Now you can see also in August, there's an arrow up. That means that I had a salary increase <laughs> during that month. Not a company increase, but it's, it was a New Zealand nursing organization agreement, which is like a Philippine Nurses Association in the Philippines. They actually negotiate the salaries of nurses, but I can't discuss that further in this vlog. Now in October as well, I had a salary increase. And so the total amount that I earned for the first year was 54,000 and six dollars and what i did was i just deducted the rent the petrol which is the gas the food and others these are just approximates because i can't remember how much or what are those expenses i incurred during that year so for rent 7200 because let's just say 150 per week so that's 600 new zealand dollars every month times 12 so that's 7200 petrol 1200 say 100 dollars every month food 2400 and others 2000 so others could be maybe i bought some t-shirt or maybe batteries for my what <laughs> i don't know <laughs> and so the net salary okay was 41000 206 New Zealand dollars and that's equivalent to net pay minus tax and expenses. I earned 1,401,004 pesos. <laughs> oh my good lord yeah this is the amount that i'm supposed to earn during my first year but what happened because it was pandemic i had to send money home to the philippines which was 65,000 pesos every month okay to help my parents business but it was actually my way as well thank god to be able to pay my my dad my papa because he spent 1.1 million pesos in order for me to come here in new zealand so i was able to to gradually pay him every month during those times so that is the starting salary here in New Zealand guys and I hope this video was able to help you decide especially nurses in the Philippines and I've got viewers in India as well and in the United Kingdom. Um, I remember one friend asked me, she's already in the United Kingdom and she asked me how much do we earn here in New Zealand but then again that is just a starting salary and that was four years ago now there are facilities that offer 32 new zealand dollars a starting salary there are those that offer 32 uh, i mean 33 34 new zealand dollars in the dhb if you are already an experienced nurse i think they will offer you more than 50 new zealand dollars that is if you are already experienced right now in my case because i already have almost four years of new zealand experience i can demand for a rate of between 45 dollars and 55 new zealand dollars and it is also worth mentioning the panel rates and we're talking about the weekend rate and the overtime rate and also working on night shift so there are facilities where they will give you extra pay if you work on night shift there are facilities that would give you 40 percent on weekends if you work on weekends and there are facilities as well that would pay you time and a half if you do overtime so like your shift is eight hours but then you are requested to work extra four hours so that four hours is time and a half so which means you get extra 50 percent of your base rate 
And in the hospital, I'm not so sure because I haven't worked in the hospital, but I think if you do overtime, you'll get time and a half as well, as well as on weekends. Now in the hospital, I am pretty sure with this that if you work on holidays, you get a double pay plus a loo day, which is a day that you can use if you wanted to file a leave in the future. So there are panel rates and these panel rates are actually the one that's making your salary a bit higher than if you don't get those rates, if you know what I mean. I hope you find value in this vlog guys and if you do, please hit like. That would significantly help my small YouTube channel and if you have questions or recommendations, please comment it down below. And of course, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing and hit that bell button, which is somewhere here down below. And as always, guys, think young and stay young. I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye. Wish that I could stay. Wish for this moment to never go away.